Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? All right. You are? What proof do you have that you're doing all right? <laughs> Nothing besides a smile. Well, that's good, because that's good proof there. <laughs> so... What do you have? We have got a journal of notes that Hunter Thompson used on his book, Songs of the Doomed. So this is a journal that was Hunter S. Thompson's? Yeah. Wow. There will never, ever, ever be another guy like him. He is absolutely brilliant, but at times he could be crazy. Brilliance and crazy sort of go hand in hand sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a journal written by Hunter Thompson. Hunter liked hanging out with lawyers. We weren't buddies. We would go to a lot of the same events. We were fun to drink with. So where did you get this? Um, a client brought it to me. Okay. Who knew my history with him and... You friends with them, or? Well, this is the radical 60s, and Hunter had this thing for radical lawyers, and he hung out with a bunch of us, and. Because you don't look Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas was probably what he's most famous for. It's one of those movies you have to watch three or four times. Okay. So these are your notes from Songs of the Doomed, right Gonzo there. Papers, Volume 3. Those are his notes. What it does is it signifies how he puts his writing together with random thoughts. He, he was known for that. He would make up random thoughts and then he would go through his notes and then he would just kind of cut and paste his own notes to make his books. Yeah, he had a lot of random thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this thing has everything in it. I mean, it has like his, you know, his little artwork there. It yeah. has phone numbers. <laughs> phone numbers, it has news articles pasted in here. Part of this is his writing, part of this is dictation and um, all this stuff is pretty random. This could be a journey just interpreting all this. The guy was an absolute lunatic. Now there's where I gotta disagree. He is probably one of the brightest people I've ever met. This is an important work right here. He created a genre of reporting. Gonzo journalism is not just reporting it, but actually getting into it and living it and understanding it. So how much do you want for this? Well, I was first thinking around 50,000 but frankly, I think I underestimated his value. I think at least 100,000. Okay. I am gonna call up someone to take a look at this, okay? okay. Uh, we'll get him down here, he'll go through it, just to make sure how much is Thompson, how much is an assistant, and other people, okay? We'll go from there, that's okay. all I can say. It's definitely odd. So this is what I called you about, cool. the journal of Hunter S. Thompson. Awesome. There was our reality and then his reality, right? <laughs> I mean, he was kinda, He's kind of out there, but he was a cool dude. And his autograph still sells for pretty good money, believe it or not. You know, seeing something like this, obviously, is, is pretty unique. I was excited to take a look at this. And obviously, you have concerns, Rick, because, you know, did Hunter S. Thompson actually do this? I have some examples that I brought with me today because his writing was just so kind of, it's kind of him. Big writing, kind of all over the place. Um, you know, I've seen some random artwork here. It's hard to say if he drew that or someone else. You know, I see stuff here and there but this is obviously, none of this stuff would be his writing. So it's kind of all over the board here. This is definitely not his writing. Uh, it's too neat and concise. Yeah, so what do you think this thing would go for at auction? I could see something like this uh, selling to the right person. It's limited writing, it was his, but it's also limited. So you have about 85% comprised of other people writing. So that does take the value down. It's still historically significant, but the value is probably right in that twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. No doubt about it. Good to see you. Yep. Good to see you, Corey. Yep. Nice to meet you. Take Sorry. care. Yep. Good luck. Okay. You know ten times as much as I do about it, so <laughs> I'll leave this one to you. All right. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> you were asking for a hundred grand. Yeah. You know, um, you got a more realistic number in mind. Well, probably not, because I'm using it to write for some of my own stuff. Okay, because I, I will offer you $20,000 right now. Oh, no, we could, can't go that low. Well, if that's the case, my man, if you want to bring it back one day, please do. I, thank you. Take care. We weren't able to make a sale today, but it was an invaluable learning experience for me. I think as long as there's some interest in it and it's got some scholarly value, that 20,000 is way under what I would suggest would be the value.